This is Cristobal, the most loving, smart, supportive, and just most amazing human being I've ever met. Oh yeah, and she's also my wife now. We've been together since we were young, and she's been the backbone of this dream of mine since the beginning. And obviously, up until we are today, well, she recently started an accelerated nursing school program. If you don't know what that means, trust me, I don't either. I barely know how to work on cars, but it is a nursing program that is done in 16 months. That is very, very quickly. In car terms, imagine having to build a car from scratch that typically takes four years to build in only 16 months. This is going to be very difficult for her. She's going to be commuting around 60 or 70 miles a day to school and back. And even though obviously I'm going to be there for her and help her study and everything she needs, I do want to go one step further and get her a car. Now, I found the perfect car. I need something big, comfortable, fast so it's savings agile there's just one big issue <laughs> so i found the most amazing car ever but there's one little big kind of issue it's like 11 hours away 11 what else is now <laughs> yeah the car's 11 hours away and there's another uh thing we have to leave in like three hours so i need you to pack your stuff oh tonight yeah we gotta leave tonight and we gotta go pick up a rental right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who in their right mind would agree to something like this? Well, my incredible wife. And the best part of all, she has absolutely no idea this is gonna be for her. So let's give her the news. Okay, we're picking up the rental right now, but I know you're a little bit weird out, probably because I have so many projects going on right now, but the car's not for me, it is for you. For me? Yup. I already have a car though. You do have a car, but you are driving to school every day now. It's like what? Like 45 minutes. There, oh, there, and then back. It's another 45 minutes. So you're putting a lot of miles. I know you have the cool 335i that we built on the channel. <laughs> but how about we get you something cooler, faster, more comfortable, and just a hot car? <laughs> That's crazy. Cooler than my car? I'm jealous. Are you excited? <laughs> so excited. Actually, do you have any idea what it might be? I have no idea. Cause my car is pretty comfy. And my car is really cool. I don't know what can top my car. Guess you're gonna have to find out. I'm telling you, when you all see this car, you're going to love it. Comment below right now what car you think it is. But before everything, we have to pick up a rental. The plan is to drive the rental over there. Hopefully the car's as good as I think. Buy it. But first, what did we get for a rental? Sheesh! Okay. I had no idea the technology was this modern on the inside. Even though it is nothing fancy, it'll get us there. At least I hope. It is time. Let's go. I literally cannot believe we're doing this right now. <laughs> Here we go. And to make things crazier, we don't plan to stop. Our plan is to get there, buy the car, and then drive right back. So we need some snacks. If you're ever planning to do a road trip, I highly don't recommend you drive through the night. Even though you may feel great at the beginning, out of nowhere, it's going to hit you and you're going to feel extremely tired. And whoop, tired got to one of us. Thankfully not me because I'm driving. Christabel is absolutely slumped and we gotta make this trip, well, all alone. Thankfully, this car did not take a lot of fill up and it did a whopping 40 miles to the gallon. But as I'm driving through torrential rain, I'm really wondering, is this worth it? Is driving 11 cars and buying a car I've never even seen before a smart idea? I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. But in the bright side, even though I've never seen or driven this car, the 11 hour drive back home will be its ultimate test drive. Unfortunately, I can't return it if something does go wrong. But if it makes it, we'll know we have a very solid car in our hands. But hold on, there's something I've been really wondering this whole trip. What car do you think we came to look at? Maybe BMW, maybe Mercedes, maybe, maybe a truck. Maybe a truck. All right, those are your three guesses? Yeah. Yes, locked in. All right, we're two hours away. Let's go find the car. I'm Maybe so excited. Maybe a truck. Maybe it's a truck. Maybe it's a truck. Who knows? Maybe it's a truck. Maybe it is a truck. 
or maybe it's a different form of a truck. Either way, the Starbucks is really hitting. And just like that, we made it to the spot. We're 11 hours from home right now, which feels crazy to say. But here we go, my heart is pounding. I've never driven one of these cars before. I've never owned one of these cars before. I've never even seen one of these cars before in person. What is he doing? Boom, woo -hoo. what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the car we came to look at. What do you, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> a 2012 BMW X5 M. A car known for its notorious issues, but also known as one of the greatest SUVs ever made. And to make things worse, the owner did not know English. And my day is ruined. Shout out to all my Ukrainian followers out there. I love y'all. And if you're wondering how we communicated, yeah, that's me asking him if I could drive it. Even though I'm sleep deprived, tired, over 700 miles away from home, we came here for a mission and we cannot fail now. The test drive went very well, but then I looked at the engine bay and let me tell you what I saw, I did not expect. The car looked so good and so new that yes, we had to buy it. I could not believe how well this car was maintained. The Ukrainian guy was so nice. He was actually a mechanic and took meticulous care of this car. My goodness. <laughs> this is the sickest car I've ever driven. But okay, we gotta get somewhere real quick, make a stop, relax, think about things, and then we can get going. First official fill up, and look how good that rear end looks. We got the quad tips, and it takes $65 to fill up. But as things were going great, we remembered something. We have to drive back while there's an active hurricane in South Carolina, exactly where we are. So this first drive back home was very intense. Imagine driving through a hurricane for around 300 miles. But okay, since we need to drive this car 700 or 800 miles back home, we have to figure out something really important with today's sponsor, OBD11. If you know me, you know I absolutely love and cannot say it enough, OBD scanners are so important for every single person with a vehicle. <laughs> well, this one is just that much better. Grab your OBD11 device. I mean, look how small this thing is. Go ahead and plug it into the car. It'll start lighting up just like that. Then all you have to do is download the app on your phone. Click connect. Yes, here we go, here we go. And the awesome thing about OBD11, it has full official Volkswagen and Audi, BMW and Toyota group licenses and dealership label diagnostics. So like I always say, you don't have to go to the dealership to figure out what's wrong with your car when you're on the side of the road or you're at a parking lot. You guys know me and I have a diagnostics in every single one of my cars. They're so important and you have to have them. Ooh, look at that X5M. I definitely advise you use this before you purchase the vehicle, but I think we'll be okay. Tap the scan. Nine faults. Uh, camera, car access system, health sensor, key engage, mechanics, luggage, roof function. The dashboard one is very interesting and it tells you all the codes and everything about them. But everything else completely okay and I do remember the roof function. The previous owner said it stopped working, he replaced everything and now the whole roof works. So that's awesome. But not only are you able to diagnose the vehicle at a dealership level, you can also go to vehicle, then you click apps and check out all the different things you can actually code onto the car. Right now when you press the trunk button, it just doesn't close. By activating this, it should work. Activated. Now let's see. Oh, that's awesome. You can do countless of things, but once again, huge thank you to OBD11 for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in the description to get your own OBD11 and use code DANNY to get 10% off your order. Thankfully, we're doing it in an X5M. Just made it to the airport, so we gotta return the rental and then we can head home, but man, I'm just admiring this car. There's so many awesome quirks and features with it. I mean, it is just insane, like, we had to do the red guts. That is fully leather. I mean, the steering wheel just looks so well taken care of. I am in love. Like I said, we got to drop off the rental. But what the description will think. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. What do you think? <laughs> Congratulations. But this is actually... To the roof, to the roof. Is this real? Is this real? <laughs> In the back. All right, 10 and a half hours to go and then we can walk around. And another thing we realized, this thing is a gas guzzler. It is a V8 twin turbo, but hey, she absolutely loves it and it makes it absolutely worth it. And if there's one thing I recommend, take a road trip with your partner. You will never regret it. It is something we love doing and it's amazing every single time. And the mood changed very quickly. We still have five hours to go and let me tell you, I am as tired as it gets. I have not slept in about 18 hours. All I'm thinking about right now is getting home. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. All right, we got like two and a half hours left. I'm officially clocking out. Crystal was officially taking the wheel because I literally can't anymore. I've been driving for like almost eight hours, but this thing is just so sick. Oh my God. All right, we'll see you guys when we get home. Probably tomorrow morning, actually. The legendary BMW X5M. This isn't just an SUV, it's a statement. Inserted under the bonnet of 555 horsepower, 4.4 liter, twin turbocharged V8. This was actually the first ever SUV produced by BMW's M division. This 5,500 pound SUV can launch from zero to 60 in four and a half seconds. The results are as dramatic as putting a furious weasel in your underpants. And that is a literal supercar performance wrapped in an SUV body. The luxurious interior, high quality leather, carbon fiber accents, the technology, the immense space. If you ask me, Cristobal deserves every bit of it and she is going to absolutely love this car. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is my wife, Cristobal. And what is that over there? My new car. <laughs> what? What is it, what is it, what is it? It's a BMW X5M. Okay, show us. First, I love her front. Look at her little eyes. <laughs> what do you think of the car overall? What do you think about it? I love that it's comfortable. I love the, it's an SUV. It's, it's big. It's not a coupe. It is extremely comfortable. I mean, this car is just so sick. This is very different. This is the first ever SUV you have seen on this channel that I have bought. And I'm telling you, if you haven't already, you're gonna absolutely fall in love with this car. Where do we even start though? Okay, let's pop the hood. We have a 500 horsepower <laughs> and 550 torque. Oh, you almost got it. Under this hood, we have <laughs> 550 horsepower with 500 torque V8 twin turbo. And guess what? If we take this up just like that, those two right there are the turbos for this car. It's a hot V, so the turbos are right up top. The only car I've ever seen have this is Audis. Audis have the same thing. I didn't even know BMWs did it. And this thing is just so cool and I cannot wait. Keep it stock. We're just gonna keep this car stock. We're not really gonna do much to it, you know? It's Crystal's daily driver from school and back. Correct. This car is an absolute supercar slayer. And I mean, this thing is fast, especially for an SUV. Okay, that's super cool or whatever, but I have to show you my favorite part. What's cooler than a 550 horsepower? What? <laughs> All the way back there? No way. All the way back. <laughs> that's my favorite part. So I got everything in the car, that's your favorite part. I mean, the red is nice too. Yes, like Crystal just said, this car is the perfect spec. As you're seeing right now, we have full red interior along with leather dash infotainment system right there. And check out how cool this cubby is. You click this little button. Okay, look at the doors. Look very closely. Look at soft, <laughs> closed doors. Who I thinks didn't even of know that? that existed. I didn't know that was a thing. It's an X5M. Okay. This time's not a fake car. Three. M3? It's an M3. No, it's not. That's not an M3. Good old German truck. So, not only am I going to be beating supercars, I'm going to be picking up groceries. Honey, whoa, 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 whoa. How does the stock 550 horsepower motor sound? Let's go. Wow. <laughs> 
So as you were able to hear the first three reps, the valves were closed. And then the other three, the valves were open. The difference, it's quite insane. That sounds so good. <laughs> I know I already showed you, but I do have to remind you, here is the M button. What I call the forbidden button. No, M is my favorite button. <laughs> so if you click here, you have the heads up display as you can kind of see right there. Look what happens when you click the M button. Full on race car. How sick is that? <laughs> I mean, man, I've never owned a car like this. And this is even a 2012. The technology has insane. Let me show you guys something else. When you click here to go backwards, you get a bird's eye view in 2012. I mean, that is just unheard of. I didn't even know this existed back then. You obviously have the paddle shifters, but how fast is it? Let's find out. <laughs> That's actually insane. Second gear pull. Here we go. This thing moves, <laughs> what? I've never been in like a race car SUV, I guess you could call it. This thing is amazing. This might be a little too much. I think it's perfect. <laughs> You're like afraid to accelerate. I don't know. <laughs> this thing is so quick though. I kind of don't want to like hurt it. <laughs> Wee! Gun it. More, more, more. Keep going. Stay on it. Upshift. <laughs> Upshift. Upshift. That was good. Look at <laughs> you. Little I'm rebel. A race car. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's insane that this car weighs 5,500 pounds and it moves like that. Overall, I believe the car was in great shape. And the fact that it drove back over 700 miles, no issues, 80, 85 miles per hour nonstop. It is safe to say, I trust that this car is going to keep Cristobal safe. And well, I think this was a very successful journey. I really wanted to do something special for Christabel, and I believe we did just that. A girl that's constantly working her hardest in life, in school, in our relationship. I really wanted to do something special for her, and I think we did just that. Thank you all for making things like this possible. You have changed my life. You know I'm just a regular Cuban kid out here making the greatest videos I could possibly make. The fact that you guys support me. I love you all, and of course, Okay, now that I'm away from Cristobal, you guys already know we're going to make this car absolutely nuts. I know I said it was going to stay stock, but man, I could not wait to start modifying this car. Oh my goodness. I love you guys. Thank you for making everything possible. Second stop, 4.30 a.m. We're about to switch. I'm tired, but we're almost there. We're like four hours away. You ready? Final fill up, let's get it. Okay, so I don't see the car, but it might be like in somewhere. Or maybe I do see the car. Do you? Walmart! Let's go, buddy. Also, I just discovered what this blind does. I think it's sick. <laughs> 